In this video, we're continuing the Tai Chi Sword Basics series, and we're talking about something rather different than what we've talked about in previous videos and probably what we'll talk about in future videos. And that is how to take care of your sword after you've trained. Some of you will have very different swords than what I have here. Some of them will require more maintenance than this sword does, and some will require less. So it's really important to understand what sword you have and take care of that sword appropriately. Most training swords that you get your hands on today are either a stainless steel or a chrome plated type sword. Those swords aren't at high risk of rusting. And so when you're done training with it, if you've touched them at all, even if you haven't, there's probably some stuff, either sweat or dust that has gotten on the blade during the training. And so it's a good idea just to take something like have a rag in your uh, sword carrying bag that you can use to wipe down the blade when you're done training, just to keep it in pristine condition. Now, if you have a sword like this, uh, you do have to worry about rust on the blade. So this sword is a heat tempered steel that's high carbon, so I do have to worry about it rusting if it gets wet properly. I personally like that aspect of the sword. It does require more work, but it makes you invest your tool that you're using to train. And I think that investment, that little extra time that you spend cleaning the sword afterwards is actually a useful part of the training. The nice thing is it typically doesn't take a whole lot of extra time and a lot of extra effort to keep the sword maintained is introduce you to my sword maintenance kit. And so the first thing that's in the kit is sort of my first and last wrap, I guess I could call it. And this is the, the washcloth that I use to wipe the oil off the blade before I train and then clean anything off the blade after I've trained before I put more oil on the blade. This particular washcloth has a pattern on it on just one side. And so I make that the side that touches the blade and I handle the other side of it. And that helps keep uh, the oil from the blade from getting on my hands as much before I train and after I train. And it also keeps the oils from my hands from contacting the side that touches the blade frequently to kind of decrease the chance of corrosion from um, oils from my hand. So quite simple, just a washcloth. I keep it in a plastic tub so that if the oil happens to leak, it doesn't mess up wherever I'm storing this. I typically store this in a closet and I don't really want grease stains in the closet. So I keep it in a container that keeps it all contained. The next thing is the actual oil rag. So this is what I use to apply oil to the blade after I've wiped it down with that one. And then for the oil, you don't have to buy anything that's incredibly fancy. You can just get mineral oil from a pharmacy or wherever it is that you shop. And if you go to the pharmacy section, usually this is with the laxatives, but it's just a very basic oil that can be used to prevent corrosion on a sword. And it's really inexpensive. So that's quite nice. And I have the bottle inside of a Ziploc uh, to decrease the amount of oil that gets out into this container. And lastly, I have an old t-shirt in here that I basically use to get oil off of my hands when I'm done working with the sword, working with the oil, getting everything prepared for storage before my next training session. That way I don't go around touching a lot of stuff with oily hands. So as you can see, it's not an expensive kit. It's not something extravagant or anything wild that you would have to be extremely skilled to have or use and it's not something that's gonna break the bank. As you can see right now, I have laid out some newspaper type ads that have come in the mail to keep the counter safe from any of the oil that I'm using here today. Normally, you don't even need to do that much. If you are handling the sword for training, it's gonna be either in the sheath. When it's out, you clean it with the rag, do your training, and then when you oil it, you can handle all of that with your left hand while you're holding the sword in your right hand. So you never need to set it down and potentially get oil on anything. So typically you won't need these papers down. If you tend to be a little bit messy or prone to accidents or just want the extra protection for any surface you're working near, putting paper down is a great idea. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I typically do before I train and after I train with the sword to keep it from rusting, keep it in good working condition. When I'm getting ready to train, the first thing that I do is take out the rag for cleaning the sword. And I want to handle this mainly with my left hand. Because I'm gonna be using my right hand to hold the sword while I'm training, I don't wanna get oil from this rag on my right hand and then touch the handle and make the handle oily because it's gonna be harder to hold on to, it's gonna be greasy, it's gonna be difficult to get that oil off of the handle later and it's just gonna make the training a lot less enjoyable. So I handle the cleaning rag with my left hand. So I'm getting ready to train. Take the sword out of the sheath and I take my cleaning rag. I have the side that has the pattern on it, ready to clean the blade and I just wipe the oil 
off of the blade. Now this blade's not sharpened, so it's possible for me to wipe the edge. The edge is actually flat, so it's not sharp, and I'm not at risk of cutting myself if I clean the edge of this. If your sword is sharp, don't touch the edge. So there, it's done. Now the reason that you wanna take the oil off before you start training is because while you're training, you don't want oil to be getting on your clothes. If you're holding the sword um, in the reverse grip so that the flat of the blade is against your shoulder, if there's a bunch of oil on the blade, you're gonna to start to get an oil spot on your shoulder. I know that from experience. And it messes up your shirt and it's not necessary. So taking the oil off is going to avoid having that happen either there or anywhere else the blade may touch while you're handling it, either while training or um, getting ready to put it away, taking it out, getting ready to train. Anytime the sword's around, anything that it touches can potentially get oil on it. So after I'm done with my training session and I'm ready to put the sword away, uh, there's potentially sweat that's gotten on the sword, there's potentially dust, dirt, grime, whatever has gotten on the blade, whether it has or not, there's the potential that it's there. And any of that being on the blade is going to encourage corrosion on the blade. So I go back to my trusty first and last rag here and I clean all of that off. I make sure that nothing is left on the blade from my training session. Okay, then I'm done with that rag. And the next thing that I go to is the oil rag. And every few days I will just use it as is because it will have enough oil on it from previous cleanings uh, that I don't need to put more oil on it to oil the blade. But typically what I do is open up my oil bottle. I take the oil rag, I place it on top of the opening and I hold it down so that no oil can leak out. And I just pick it up and I invert it and that gets oil on the rag but it doesn't make a mess while I'm doing it. Now I have a nice spot of oil. I take that and I place it on the blade up to the hilt and then just run the blade along it. Turn the blade over on the hilt, run the blade along. Since the edges are completely dull, I make sure the edges are also oiled. Again, if your sword is sharp, don't do that. And then I do it a couple of times just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And one thing that you can do is hold your blade up to the light and you can actually see where the oil is. And if you missed a spot, you can go back and get it. And it looks like everything's good. So then I just put this back, put the lid back on. And then I have oil on this hand from touching that rag. And I don't wanna to touch the sheath of my sword or anything else with this hand while it's covered in oil. And that's where this other t-shirt really comes in handy or this other rag that happens to be a t-shirt. I just use that to get the oil off of my hands so that if I handle something, I don't cover it in oil. Oil's off the hand and now I can put the sword away. And that's it. As you can see, it's very straightforward. It doesn't take a lot of extra time, but it does give you another step of interaction with your sword, familiarity with your sword, and a mindfulness activity. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, and I hope these instructions were good enough to help you maintain your sword without allowing it to rest. If you have any questions about what I talked about in this video today, please leave them in the comments below. Stay safe and healthy out there, and as always, thank you for watching.